Orhan Pamuk, um, the writer, described football as being too fast for words. Uh, and, and he talked about uh, his experiences as a kid listening to games on the radio and how the commentary was always like that, a split second behind the actual action itself. And there's something that I think, this is why football fiction is valuable to us because it gives us the space to contemplate what happens. It is, it's really fast. Things happen really quickly. Players make decisions really quickly as well. And, you know, and I've always wondered as a player, like what was going on in, a, in someone else's mind when they make a pass or make a tackle or score a goal, you know, what made them make the decisions that they did? And, and in football writing, we're always speculating on what this player's going to uh, get sold for or what this manager's tactics were. And we never see this like kind of on the pitch experience of the game itself. And, and I want to explore that. And I think that football fiction gives us an opportunity to do that. So I think it's valuable for that. It adds colour to the game, you know. And it gives us that, uh, it gives us an opportunity to fill the space that Orhan Pamuk's talking about, you know. There doesn't have to be this kind of glib commentary. See, at the moment, the way that people talk, talk about football and write about football in non-fiction, um, it's a commentary on the game. It's a commentary on the issues about the game, you know. And I think that fiction allows us to comment on that in different ways. It allows us to add colour and uh, to build a, a much deeper picture around what's going on, I think. Um, I think it's a way for us to understand football in a different way from new perspectives as well. You know, and, and like much more, in, that's much more interesting and much more engaging than, than your average player biography. You know, that they're, they're generally not very that, not that interesting.